So before you go in, ruin a perfectly nice 1970s, 1980s Honda and try to turn it into a cafe bike in your mom's basement, which you're never gonna finish, maybe you should check out one of these. Cue the intro. Guys, I'm here with a, uh, a 2016 Moto Guzzi. It's pronounced Guzzi. Or if you're an American, you know, I just say however you want to because we're Americans, that's what we do. And this is a V7 II Stone. And it really is an, a magnificent bike. I'm excited to tell you guys all about it. So the, the first thing you notice on this bike is uh, it is a V-twin. But instead of sitting like this, like most um, you know, Japanese or American bikes, or even the Ducatis, it sits like this. You'll recognize this. You know, they had a similar style on the, um, on the Honda did, back in the Honda Silverwing days, when they were making a 500 sideways V-twin like this. If you come back here, it connects to the wheel with a shaft drive that comes right almost in the center of the, of the engine but over to the right a little bit. This is a 744 cc motorcycle that ends up being about 45 cubic inches. So it's not a huge motorcycle and it doesn't make huge power, it makes about 45 horsepower, which seems kind of small for this bike, but the bike only weighs in at wet at around 450 pounds. So it's only about 30 pounds more than your uh, 600 Super Sport does. Now this year is equipped with a six speed transmission. The way they geared the the gearings, you know, it's, it's great for low speeds. But then that six speed is, you know, is also great for the highway. We'll go test that when we do the test drive. So even though you have this classic design motorcycle, where everything looks like it's from like the, the 40s or the 30s, it still has these modern touches, you know, ABS and traction control that you can turn off, which is very unique because a lot of bikes, you can't turn off the traction control. All you have to do to turn off the traction control is you hold the start button down for a couple seconds and it turns off. But another cool, unique feature that shows you riding a modern bike is how the headlights come on. Now if you're wondering what category this bike falls into, this would be under like the classic or the standard category. And you would know that from the flat seat, where normally, you know, you would have a seat and then a step up and then the seat up here, where so like the girl sits way above you and it's not comfortable for anyone. This one, this bike's actually kind of made for two people. Where you sit right here, she, she sits right here, and she's got her own little, you know, little mild little lumbar back there. It is the perfect bike if you're taking some girl out on a date or something like that, or just, just kind of cruising around. So th th that kind of asks the question, why would someone buy a motorcycle like this? Why would you buy this opposed to any other bike? Why would you buy a Moto Guzzi opposed to any other bike? And the answer is, it's unique. It's unique, it's also reliable. Uh, a lot of people consider Moto Guzzi to be the Italian Harley Davidson in the sense that it's been around for 95 years. Well, as of 2016, it's been around for 95 years. Now it's 2019, so it's been around for 98 years. But with them, it's been an, un an uninterrupted 98 years of production. And they're not all about trying to make the newest, fastest, baddest thing, but they, they keep a classic design, a classic, this is a classic V-twin, air-cooled, it's reliable, and it's just, it's just a blast to drive. It's just fantastic to drive. And another great thing about these bikes is chances are there's a Moto Guzzi dealership somewhere close to you. Now, it's not gonna be as common as a Harley or a Yamaha, but you probably don't have to go more than 50 miles to find one. But one of the greatest features about this bike and you know, if you compare this to a Bonneville, this is kind of what really does it for me, is that V-twin sound that you're not gonna get from anything else. All right, let's take a seat for a spin. All right, guys, before the test drive, let's do the words of wisdom, Matthew 634. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. You don't got to worry about the next day. Your Heavenly Father will take care of you. All right, guys, let's put on the gloves. Yes. Zip, zip. Now, the first thing you'll notice, I don't know what that means. Not, I don't know what that means. The first thing you notice when you fire up these things is you're like, oh, it feels like an R bike, because when you rev it up, 
it kind of moves this way you know what I mean it's got that sideways I love it some people don't like it I don't know why man it's such a unique when, when you ride when you ride as many bikes as I do it's so nice and uh, and just exciting to ride something that's just completely different you know the engines mounted a completely different way it's not it's not like cars where you could have cars mounted in different spots but unless you're really pushing it to the limits you don't really you can't really feel the difference with a motorcycle you can you really because you're it's it's just you sitting on it you know what I mean you really feel the difference between a V twin and a and a parallel twin and a and a, a flat an inline four and a boxer four and a boxer six you just completely it's almost a completely different bike that's why you have companies like BMW that make very similar bikes but just with different engines you know like like the K bike and the R bike you have the K bike that's got a uh, a V6 and then you have an R bike that's got a you know a boxer twin and they're both touring bikes with with everything everything you can throw at it so I do uh, really like the way this feels, the clutch is light, this would be a great bike. It's just one of those bikes and you don't, not every bike, not, not many bikes fit, not many bikes fit under this category of that this could be your first bike and the only bike you ever buy. Or it's, just, it's the first bike that you keep forever, that you still love riding. Now if you buy something real small, there are some, you know, beginner's bikes and some guys are like, I want to buy a beginner bike and I'm going to drop it a couple of times then I get to get rid of it and I'll buy something else and I get it but there is something to be said about that bike that you're like that's my first bike I still have it I still love riding it it brings me back to when I had my first bike and this is one of those bikes it's light it's 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 peppy it's fun it's not it's not fast um, but it's still a motorcycle you know what I mean? I mean, we, 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 we do 0 to 60. I'll show you how quick it is. I'm sure it's, you know, it's still, it's still quick. Shifting gears is just effortless. It, when you ride a bike like this, you realize it's easy to get wrapped up in horsepower. And to be like, I need more power, 150 horsepower, you know what I mean? Uh, I test drove a bike the other day that has 200 horsepower. Apparently with a tune, you get it up to 240. And I'm like, I need this. That's what I need. Why, why do I not have this right now? And then you ride something like this. And it's just like, oh yeah, I, I don't need that. You know what I mean? It's not all about the power. It's just the fun and how comfortable and how just the unique, the feeling and the touch of this bike really is. I just... You know, it's like when you ride, um, if you ever ridden like an old moped or something, it's a blast. You're smiling the whole time. I feel the same way with this. Obviously, it's way faster than a moped, but this is just such a fun bike. And, and to ride something that you know almost no one else has, you're never going to, the chances, unless you go to a Moto Guzzi rally, or unless you go to a Moto Guzzi dealership, um, the dealer people around you are not riding the same bike. Such a blast. Such a fun bike to ride. It's You can get in trouble with it, but it, chances are you're probably not going to get in trouble with it. Um, I love this mat. This mat like satin. You know what I mean? Uh, gray paint with the metal, with, with the metallic flake inside. And it's a basic bike. It's a very basic bike. So when it comes, and I'm always, I'm always in this dilemma myself, and I hear a lot of people that, that have the same issue. And they're like, well, I want to ride the bike, but if you're at a, let's say you're at a state and you can't buy from, from somewhere, you can't buy from us, um, you know, w what are other options of how you can test drive bikes? Because a lot of dealerships don't let you test drive bikes. Well, here's another option. There's a company called Ridershare. And what they do is they, it's a, it's a kind of a twofold solution to a problem. What they do is they allow you to rent bikes. It's like Toro, it's like Airbnb, but for motorcycles. If you want, if you need a bike for the weekend, jump on Rideshare, uh, go, uh, go to the website Rideshare and pull up your location and find, find a cool bike that you want to test drive. Test drive for the weekend. And then if you, if you end up liking one, 
you know, track one down, see if we have one, and, and go buy it. All right, hold up. We'll get back to this. There. Another cool thing about rider share is that you can make money with it. So let's say you buy a bike and you got payments, or let's say you own the bike and you want to put it out on rider share. Only licensed people, they're all checked, they're all background, they're all covered from the insurance company. Um, you can make a couple hundred bucks, you could cover the cost of your payment, or just be making money that eventually would cover the cost of you, uh, of you owning that bike. All just from renting your bike. So it, 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 it opens up a lot of opportunities, or let's say you don't want to have six bikes in your, in your garage like I do. You just want to have one bike that you li like most of the time, but if you're like, hey, I want to go do a long trip, bam, a couple hundred bucks, go rent one. So we're cruising this bike at 65 miles an hour, which is called the speed limit. And it feels great. It feels great. It's got plenty of power. I am in top gear, which is a, it is a six speed. If I want to roll on, it, it accelerates, no problem. Uh-oh, is that guy throwing up? Uh, if I want to drop a, drop a gear and I got a little bit more power. But it feels great. I'm not getting blown around by the wind. It's not a windy day. But I can definitely pass, 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 duck, bob and weave if I wanted to. You get this little tiny windshield. I, I don't know what it does. It's not, it's, you know, let's just say it's more for looks. I'm sure you could put a bigger windshield on it. But if you wanted to take a big cross country trip on a bike like this, you could. Now, it, it, do you want to put a passenger on the back? Yeah, you could. That'd be a, that'd be a, that's an adventure right there. You know, she's got a backpack on, you're wearing the clothes on your back. That's an adventure. You're not going to do very many miles per day, but man, that'd be great. That'd be super cool. So it's got, it's got, with, with the way it's geared, it's got plenty of gear to go much faster than this. The bike does have ABS, which a lot of people really like. It's a cool feature. I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it's a great, I think it's a great bike. I think about the price point, this thing's brand new. This is actually the cheapest motorcycle that Italy, the cheapest street bike that Italy uh, makes. Not that Italy makes bikes, but that, that you know, made by an Italian company, which is kind of mind blowing. Uh, this thing was only like, I think 9,000, brand new. Um, on the used market, a couple years old with 4,600 miles, I think we're selling it for less than 5,000, which is just a steal. I mean, that's a great deal. All right, guys, that wraps up the video. We will see you guys next time. Remember, it is not what you're riding. But where are you going? Uh, if you want to look in the link below to see our uh, the rest of our inventory, the link below to buy our uh, M1 Moto gloves, one of the only gloves lined with Kevlar, or check out the Rider Share stuff I was talking about earlier. Check that out too. We'll see you guys later.